greetings and welcome subscribe the channel thermal engineering for video sessions this is video session on lmtd for parallel flow heat exchanger lmtd means log mean temperature difference now the question is why lmtd is required in heat exchanger analysis so in a heat exchanger there is a heat exchange take place between the hot fluid and uh, cold fluid so during this the temperature difference between the two fluids is continuously changing from the inlet to the outlet of the heat exchangers this temperature difference must be average over the entire length of a heat exchanger so lmtd helps in determining the size and rate of heat transfer in heat exchangers so here are some assumptions the overall heat transfer coefficient is uniform through the heat exchanger the specific heats of fluids are constant and the potential and kinetic energy changes are negligible with this assumption here are mainly two types of lmtd lmtd for parallel flow heat exchangers and lmtd for counter flow heat exchangers in this video session we will see lmtd for parallel flow heat exchanger so here is a flow diagram this is a hot fluid passing through the inner cylinder cold fluid passing through the outer cylinder both fluid flowing in the same direction this is the temperature behavior along the heat exchanger here heat transfer between the cold fluid and hot fluid for element dx we will consider here for the derivation small element part of the heat exchanger dx length and area will be da that is width into dx so heat transfer will be dq into overall heat transfer coefficient u into da means elemental area into temperature difference delta t this is shown here this is a th minus tc it is called as local temperature difference now here energy balance equation so we will write this equation for the both fluids first of all for hot fluid here it is written as mcp delta t general equation m is a mass cp is specific heat and delta t is a temperature difference for this hot fluid here is a minus sign comes because here the temperature of the hot fluid decreases in the direction of heat exchanger length in parallel flow arrangement so here th2 exit temperature is less than inlet temperature hot fluid that is th1 here mcp product is a heat capacity so for hot fluid it is a ch so now the arrangement the equation in this way dth is equal to minus dq by ch say equation number 1 follow the same process for cold fluid writing the equation m c p d t for cold fluid then heat capacity c c into d t c d t c is equal to d q upon c c say equation 2 temperature difference between two fluids that is t h minus t c differentiating this equation we write derivative of delta t is equal to derivative of these two terms means d t h minus d t c this is equation 3 now putting this dth and dtc value in this equation number 3 means right side expression so here will come minus dq by ch and this minus dq by cc taking common dq in the bracket 1 upon ch plus 1 upon cc now as dq is equal to ua delta t we can write this right side over here so further the 
equation will be what d of delta t is equal to minus u da delta t bracket now this delta t we will take on the left side and uh, this we will write in this fashion then integrating this equation between inlet and outlet means 1 and 2 so writing the integration limits lower limit delta t1 upper limit delta t2 on the left side right side here minus u and this bracket these are the constants all are the constants so will remain out of the integration sign integration will be here from 1 to 2 that is the length of the heat exchanger inlet outlet area da so here integration of left side term will be what natural log of delta t putting the limits upper and lower it will come natural log of delta t2 upon delta t1 is equal to right side minus u this bracket as it is and integration of this da will be a so here this will be equation number four now uh, this is a total heat transfer q is equal to ch means heat capacity into th1 minus th2 this is the equation for hot fluid thus 1 upon ch is equal to 1 upon q into temperature difference for cold fluid similarly q will be equal to cc into tc2 minus tc1 so here uh, 1 upon cc will be equal to 1 upon q into this temperature difference say equation number 6 now putting this uh, 5 and 6 equation in equation number 4 means this 4 equation so at this place 1 upon ch and 1 upon cc we have to write equation number 5 and 6 expressions so here will be what left side ln delta t2 upon delta t1 is equal to minus u a bracket here this is equation number 5 and this is equation number 6 part now from this uh, bracket taking this 1 upon q outside of the bracket so inside the bracket here this will be the temperature difference for hot fluid this is the temperature difference for cold fluid now arranging the terms th1 minus tc1 another bracket minus th2 minus tc2 why because this will be helpful for us see the diagram th1 minus tc1 if you see left side at the inlet of heat exchanger th1 minus tc1 so this will be what temperature difference at the inlet means delta t1 and th2 minus tc2 see here on the right side th2 minus tc2 this will be what temperature difference at the outlet of the heat exchanger means delta t2 so we write for this we this delta t1 minus delta t2 now the next will be what this minus sign we will be removing so here what will come delta t2 minus delta t1 will be there so by writing this equation in the form of this q means q we will take on the left side and this term we will take on the right side so it will go at the denominator so equation will be what q is equal to u into a into delta t2 minus delta t1 upon natural log of this ratio same equation we can write in this way also means delta t1 minus delta t2 if you write this then here change will be and at the denominator term so here it will come delta t1 upon delta t2 so comparing these both equations with this equation q is equal to u a delta t m so this delta t m will be for this expression that is delta t1 minus delta t2 upon natural log of ratio so this delta t m is what log mean temperature difference lmtd for the parallel flow heat exchanger so in this uh, video session now you can explain lmtd for
parallel flow heat exchanger subscribe the channel thermal engineering for further video sessions thank you